Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to look at a fragrance from the house of Vince Camuto, and this one is called Terra. Inside the card, we have a little more information about the fragrance. It says, a fresh, woody, oriental fragrance for the strong, unmistakably masculine man with uncompromising taste. And at Fragrantica, the fragrance was classified as a woody aquatic that came out in 2017. With notes of citruses, geranium, sandalwood, rhubarb, tonka bean, vanilla, and woodsy notes. When I first heard about this fragrance, I thought uh, Terra with the orange bottle. I thought it was going to smell like a knockoff or copy cheap uh, reproduction of Terra de Hermes. But that's hardly the case with this fragrance. This one, uh, one of the first things I pick up on is like this sweet vanilla sandalwood base which is kind of a common thing in today's fragrances. Um, and then on top, you get some citruses, uh, like an orange, maybe some bergamot. So it has like a breezy orange citrus on top of a vanillic woodsy sandalwood. So that's pretty much what I'm getting here. Unfortunately, the rhubarb note didn't really come out very well. Now, rhubarb is normally uh, like a tangy, sour note in fragrances sometimes, and I'm not really getting anything along those lines with the rhubarb. As far as geranium goes, sometimes that makes a fragrance a little bit minty. Now, this one may be a little minty, but I don't think the geranium really stands out here either. It might give it a little bit of a powdery feel. I think that's about it. Um, so I would say this fragrance is definitely... Um, one of those sort of like post um, Paco Rabanne 1 million type fragrances. I've heard it compared with Versace's Eros, which I haven't smelled, so I can't really comment on the similarity between Eros and Terra. But uh, I say if you like fragrances in the vein of like uh, Invictus or 1 million, this one kind of has that same general feel to it. Now, I think the big difference between this one and those other ones is that. This one seems to be a little bit less in your face. It's a little bit lighter, easier to wear during the day. So this one would probably make a better day wear choice than One Million or Invictus. So you want to keep that in mind. Uh, you know, if you like, you know, some of these loud vanilla uh, citrus fragrances, a little bit too much for the workplace. This one might might work a little bit better than those because of that reason. But uh, otherwise. Kind of gets lost in the shuffle. It doesn't really stand out from the crowd. And it's just going to be sort of like a ho-hum fragrance in my opinion. So let's get into some final scores. Smell, 6.5 out of 10. It's an okay smell, but it's just been replicated so many different times by so many different houses. And in some cases, like Paco Rabanne, within the same house with Invictus and 1 million. Uh, projection longevity, 3.5 hours. Seems about uh, right for this one. 6.5 out of 10. Uh, kind of... Lays close to the skin after that. Versatility, 6.5 out of 10, because I think this one can be worn at work, and maybe even at night, because it has that same feel as like a club scent. Uniqueness, 5 out of 10, doesn't really stand out at all to me. Price is 1.7 ounce, 27.99, 30.4 ounce, 48.29. So with the final score of this one, 6.5 out of 10. If you're looking for something with the same uh, feel as like a 1 million Invictus type scent, and you're looking for something a little bit easier to wear during the day because it's not quite as strong, perhaps a bit more mature because of the, the geranium and maybe even the rhubarb, this one might be worth checking out. But otherwise, that's pretty much a pass. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.